Hi friends. Today we're going to read We Were Tired of Living in a House by Liesl Moak Scorpin and pictures by Doris Byrne. This was a story that I used to read when I was your age. And I was thinking these days because we're stuck in our house an awful lot. I'm a little tired of being in my house and I thought maybe you are too. Are you tired of being in your house? <sighs> well, we were tired of living in a house. Where else could you live? We were tired of living in a house. So we packed a bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and wool caps. I wonder if they're going to bring the dog and the cat with them. And we moved to a tree. We liked our tree. Do you have a favorite tree? I have a favorite tree. And again, when I was your age, I had a favorite tree that I would visit every day. There was always a breeze in the afternoon that rippled through our roof. Above in a branch lived a speckled bird who sang all day long for the sake of a song. And our roof in the autumn turned scarlet and gold. We liked our tree. That looks amazing, doesn't it? I want to live in that tree. Do you see the speckled bird? Yeah. And they did bring their cat and their dog. until we tumbled out. Whoa! Yikes! That doesn't sound very safe. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and scarlet leaves and gold. Oh, wow. They're packing up the leaves from their tree. How cool is that? And we moved to a pond. We liked our pond. We built a raft and floated about among the reeds and lily pads. Below, fish darted. Dragonflies above. The pond frogs sang rubba, rubba, freak, eek, with us on summer nights. And, well, we liked our pond. until we sank. Oh dear. That doesn't look very comfortable. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend. So the scarlet leaves and gold leaves come from the tree. The frog comes from the pond. Where will they go next? Where else could they go? Maybe a bear cave? Let's find out. And we moved to a cave. We liked our cave. I hope it's not a bear cave. 
I'd be a little nervous to go in there. We slept on beds of cool green moss. We hunted for blackberries in the woods. Mmm, delicious. Do you like blackberries? We dipped our water from the brook and roasted walnuts over the fire. When we weren't busy, we explored. We liked our cave. I wonder if they'll take anything from the cave if they leave. What would they take? There's no frogs and there's no leaves. Let's find out. <gasps> Until we met the bears. Ah! Oh. Who looks more scared? The people or the bears? Everybody looks a little confused. Yikes! Time to go. Maybe they don't have time to pack. Let's find out. <clears throat> so, we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun. Did you guess that? Did you guess that they would pack the stones from the cave? Are stones heavy or light? They're heavy, yeah, they're probably heavy to carry. What about leaves? Are leaves heavy or light? Light, they probably aren't too much. And what about a frog? Is a frog heavy or light? It's kind of light, but it's probably heavier than the leaves, but lighter than the stones. And we moved to the sea. We liked the sea. What can you tell about the weather from the picture? What do you think is happening in the weather? What do you think they're feeling? Especially the little girl with the balloon. It looks very windy, doesn't it? Have you ever been to the ocean and it's so windy? We built a castle on the shore from salty water and warm sea sand with turrets and towers and moats about. We hunted for treasure and dove in the waves and slept to the pleasant songs of the surf. We liked our castle on the shore. Do you think they'll stay on the seashore? What do you think will happen? Hmm, they fell out of their tree. They sank their pond house. The bears came to live in the cave. Will something happen here at the seashore? What do you think? Hmm. Let's find out. But the tides kept washing out to sea. The water kept coming in and washing them out to sea. Good thing the dog got what it got. What does the dog have? Yeah. Do cats like water? Not so much. Hmm, so what do you think they'll take from the sea? They took what from the tree? Leaves. And then they took what from the pond? A frog. And then they had something from the caves, the stones. And then what did they have from the sea? So we packed our bags with sweaters and scarlet leaves and gold, a frog who was a particular friend, precious stones that caught and held the sun, and seashells singing in the surf. Did you guess that? Did you guess that they would take seashells? That was good thinking if you did. And we went home to live in a house.
How are they feeling about that? Are they excited to live in back in their house? Or are they not? Yeah, they look pretty happy to me. And mom and dad look pretty excited too. Happy to have them home. There. And on the back, you can see. Let's see if we, I open it all the way up. They're in their cave, and who's watching them? Who's watching them in their cave? The bears. That's right. It was a good home for a little bit, but you can't really live with the bears, can you? No. But good thing they went home. 